Hello everyone. In this quick tech video, I'm going to show you how to make a fillable form using Microsoft Word. Before I can create the form, I have to make sure that the Developer tab option is turned on. To do this, I'm going to click on File in the upper left hand corner and come down to the bottom left and click on Options. Once this dialog box has appeared, I will click on Customize Ribbon and over here on the right hand side, where it says Developer, I'm going to check that in the add-ins and say OK. And as you can see, I now have the Developer option in the drop-down toolbar at the top of the page. So here I've created just a basic document with some boxes in it. To turn these into form fillable fields, I need to click on the Developer tab in the top ribbon. Now here I have a design mode, and you can see there's some options to the left of that. To begin with, I would like to put check boxes here to show whether the client information is active or inactive. To do that, I'm going to put my cursor where I want it to be, in this case right next to the active button. With the design mode highlighted, I'm going to use the checkbox option. As you can see, a checkbox has appeared here. If I click on the properties button, I can change the title, give it a tag, show it as a bounding box, or even change the color. For this example, I want the color to become green when it's checked. Once I have my options selected, I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to repeat the same process for inactive. I will place my cursor where I want it to be. And under the design mode, click the checkbox option. And here, I'm going to bring up my properties. And for this, I want the color to be red, and then say OK. So for the boxes that I have here, to start with a form fillable document, I'm going to place my cursor again where I want the box to appear. And since this is just a plain text, under the options here, I'm going to click on plain text control. And you see it's put in something here, and I can click on properties if I wanted to. Again, we have the same properties as before. I'm just going to say OK. And now I'm just going to repeat that process for the next few fields. Make sure you have the cursor where you want your box to begin, and then click the type of box that you wish to use. Now if I wanted to have a drop-down box with a list of options, say for example in the product type, I would click where I want the box to begin, and then it appear in the top options, I'll select drop down list. You see there are two types. There's a drop down list and a combo box. The combo box content control is similar to the drop down content control. However, it also gives you the option to type in your response in the option if it does not appear in your drop down menu. But for this example, I'm just going to use a plain drop down box. Once that's been placed, I can come over to properties. In here in the drop down properties, I can tell it to add an option. And then here, just simply type in the name of the option that I want to use. Once you type in the name and click OK, you can see that the choice has been added. And you can make as many of these as you need to. Once I've added the options I want to have, I simply click OK. Now here in the bottom, since I have an option that requires a date, I will use the calendar option. Again, I'm going to click on my cursor where I want it to begin at, and then click on the calendar icon, the date picker icon. Once I've created all the spaces for my form fills, simply exit the designer mode by clicking on the design mode button at the top ribbon. And here I can see that it says click or tap to insert text, and I can go through and fill these out as I need to. Under the product name where I had chosen a drop down box, once I click on it, I see the drop down arrow appear, and I can choose from the options that were available. Here, where I click the date option, from the drop down menu comes up with a calendar, and I can select the date that I wish to use. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more quick tech how to videos.